Earl errors a number six overall seed. Hey, at least Sheen gets to play first, so Thoughtseize is pretty good on the play. Yeah, it's going to be on the play. But he doesn't have it. Starts out on just a flooded strand as we are underway. For Darrow, he has a gamble. At least it wasn't exploration. When you look at the early interaction on Shaheen's side, he has four Thoughtseize, um, but doesn't have spell pierces. None of that, you know, the, some of that soft permission can actually get get leverage against lands. You know, you if you can daze or spell pierce their exploration or their mox diamond, it's pretty good. But Shaheen has the, the bigger kind of counter magic, and that's not going to play very well here. Now, one thing to note right now, Daryl Ayers is on a five-card hand. He had to mulligan a couple of times here. Shaheen going to search up a basic island with his flooded strand, see if he has some sort of counter spell or not. But he's given that deck a pretty healthy shuffle. Of course, we do have updates for you guys on our other results. One, you can find them on Twitter at SAG Live, as Nick Miller will be tweeting them live for you. But also, we'll be letting you know, too, as Shaheen's going to cast a brainstorm. I mean, his counter suite is three Force of Wills and one counter spell. And that's actually all he has to counter here. He's eschewed a lot of his counter spells for discard and then for resilient threats like Lingering Souls. The brainstorm here, he's going to put away at least one Supreme Verdict. And I think a Source of Plowshares was the other one. It looks like Gamble is resolving. So five cards. We'll see what heirs will have to discard. It will be a Windswept Heath. And we're going to go over to Sarani. Almost certainly, as we see here, Gamble, I would assume, is for Life from the Loam. Yep, that's typically the case. Now, the difficulty here is even if Shaheen has a counter spell, the card counter spell, that is, for Life from the Loam, he doesn't have graveyard hate to go with it. You know, nothing like a death right shaman. So Daryl will just get to continue trying for life from the loam. That said, Shaheen's one of counterspell in the main right on cue to get that exploration. Hey, that's why he plays it and he's going to search up. It looks like another basic island because he wants to be wasteland proof. You see Daryl's second land is a maze of if, which does not tap for mana. So he, he did mulligan a five and he well, technically is a land in Maze of It. It just doesn't tap for any mana. So Daryl's got to find another land that actually does tap for mana so he can start his Loam engine. And it kind of makes you wonder whether or not Daryl gambled for that exploration. If he had the last turn he played, gamble off of Grove of the Burn Willows, and you'd think if he had exploration in his hand at the time, he just would have gone for a turn one exploration instead. Shaheen in the draw step is going to play Vendillion Click. Life of the Loam, Punishing Fire, Mana Bond, and Maze of It. And... I actually, oh gosh, I actually don't know what you're supposed to do here. Uh, oh, because you want to, whether you're supposed to take Punishing Fire or Life from the Loam? Yeah, I guess Punishing Fire isn't, like, Punishing Fire is a problem, but he's already got Maze of Ith, so the Vendillion Click is already checked, so I just kind of want to take the Life from the Loam. It's the most important card in the deck anyway. The deck does not function particularly well without Life from the Loam. This is really your... It's one of Vendillion Click <laughs> is your only way to get rid of that card, but it's also your only way to get rid of Punishing Fire when Grove is in play. Yeah, Daryl's going to draw that land. It's a Wooded Foothills, which is going to turn on his life in the loam. He's able to cast it and get two lands back in Wooded Foothills and Windswept Heath. So a good draw there off the Vendillion Click trigger. And Shaheen going to take a read on Mana Bond. That one... At the end of turn, Daryl will get, would get the option to discard his entire hand and put all the land cards into play. Does quite a number with life from the loam. Now the loaming begins. Two fetch lands back into Daryl's hand. Yeah, this is what it's all about for the lands deck. Daryl's finally gotten going, even though he had a little bit of a stumble out of the gate. Supreme verdict to draw here for Shaheen. Not particularly good, but... We'll see what Shaheen is up to because he very quickly sacrificed that Marsh Flats. I wonder if that's a Jace. That, yeah, that's, what, that's what he would like it to be. Yeah. It's rare that he gets up to four lands and can get a Jace in play. Once he does, that can be very difficult for Daryl. He doesn't actually have ways to remove Jace. He has to burn it down with Punishing Fires eventually. See Shaheen on all basics. He's got some resiliency to Daryl's lock pieces. I think this might be a Jace. Yep. And no. don't even have to ask what that's No, no, do. no. If you've seen Shaheen play with Jace before, that, that baby's not fate seal. I saw <laughs> yesterday, if you missed it, he said the greediest brainstorm. <laughs> Time Machine after said, there's one card in his deck that matters. Literally one. And you he wasn't in his hand, and you chose to brainstorm. That's right. Hey, he knows what he likes to do. Here's Manabon. Daryl going to sacrifice Wooded Foothills. 
He'll search up a land, he'll loam again, and then he'll probably trigger Mana Bond. Again, triggering Mana Bond is a you may. You don't have to do it every turn. But if you do do it, as you mentioned, you'll have to discard your entire hand. Lands will come to the battlefield, rest will get discarded. Daryl probably will do it. The only thing is that Sheen's going to get a lot of Jace activations because all this game is paced out. The question on the land side is if any of the Jace activations will matter. You see Daryl... All the lands on the battlefield yeah. now. It's a very... <laughs> Four lands into playoff mana bond. Quick update for you guys as Shaheen's going to prepare to take his turn. Dylan Donigan does win game number one over Jay Podolsky. So Grixis Delver very quickly up a game over Reanimator. Shaheen going to play a Brainstorm now. Donigan just on a tear with that deck to this tournament. Both these players having a heck of a day, heck of a day too with their respective archetypes. Daryl and Shaheen having to fight until the last round. Donegan was the first player to lock his top eight slot, 12 and run, 12 and one record, got to coast in on the last two rounds. Yep, made it look pretty easy. Two mazes. Shaheen gonna sacrifice a flood of strand, shuffle away with the brainstorm. Looks like he's got some interest in searching up non-basics now. The the worry here is that, despite the fact that Sheen has a lot of cards, maybe he could even fate seal with a Jace, is that because Daryl will, will likely spend every turn loaming life, using life from the loam, he's more or less drawing three cards a turn. Yep. And that, the, so the cards that count are any land he flips over, and in addition to that, and here's the relevant one, any punishing fire he flips over. And once he starts flipping punishing fires, he's going to be able to burn down that Jace. In the meantime, he's not taking any damage. Two Maze of us is more than enough to keep Vendillion Click at bay. Chain going to brainstorm again. You have to imagine he's looking for something specific. Uh, some lingering souls could work. That'd be pretty good against Maze of Its. Yep. And we, he'd like them quickly. Once Daryl has milled into two punishing fires, I think that's what will put it out of reach for Shaheen. Be just too much repeatable removal. Shaheen going to play Dig Through Time now. So he's incorporated that card into his deck. Absolutely. He'll take a look at the top seven. And of course, take two with him. Batter Skull among those cards, Source of Plowshares as well. Yeah, and I think he's going for Lingering Souls because when you look at how he can actually win here, remember Shaheen's a deck without Wastelands. So those those Maze of Its are, are just trouble. Uh, it's either through a Swarm of Lingering Souls tokens, or it's actually through ultimating Jace the Mind Sculptor, which that that play just kind of seems out of Shaheen's range. It would require him to skip a lot of brainstorms. Yeah, given how much he likes to brainstorm with Jace. Here's oh. Stoneforge Mystic. Interesting. So he actually had the option to cast Lingering Souls. Oh, no, he's a mana short. But he will. He did, did find one off that dig. Here's a Dredge. No Punishing Fire yet. Just a Grove of the Burn Willows. The Another one, loam. The one card that Daryl really wants to find, too, in this stretching is Tranquil Thicket, so he can go completely yes. off. So Tranquil Thicket is a cycles for one green, which, especially now that he has multiple life from loams, he could start, instead of just draw, dredging three cards a turn, he can start dredging six. Shaheen will draw. Another copy of Source of Plot Shares. A dead one in this matchup. Or close to it. And this is a game that if Shaheen can somehow steal game one here, that is so relevant in this matchup. Games two and three, he's got a reasonable shot. This is a game that, by all accounts, Shaheen is supposed to lose. Yes. The first game is very hard. Oh, my. The Fate Seal. He'll leave that card on top. I can't believe my eyes. Well, I mean, he has to win the game somehow. That is one of the ways to do it. Now here's the Lingering Souls. Two Spirit Tokens on the way. Now he c eventually he'll get some damage. Remember that Daryl does play a copy of the Tabernacle at Pendril Vale, so when he finds that one off his dredges, then Shaheen will have to pay quite the price for all these 1-1s. One no Punishing Fire or Shot in Port. Low will back. be cast. Portal enter the battlefield. Another update for you, as Shaheen does put Batter Skull and Germ Token onto the battlefield. 
Jeremy Denman does win game number one over Bryant Cook. So Teamer Delver up a game over Storm. That's our two versus seven. Shane gonna sacrifice a Fluted Delta, get a land out of his deck. Maybe looking to clear with Chase a little bit. Draws a Marsh Flats. 17 apiece, the life totals here. Yeah, and both their decks so blank here because of the lack of interaction. Shaheen would like to find more Lingering Souls. And we already know that Daryl's priority list is Punishing Fire 1, Tranquil Thicket 2. That's about it. Maybe, maybe Tabernacle 3. Yeah, Tabernacle actually be pretty good. Caracas to find here. There is an interaction here with Caracas and Mendelian Click, but oddly enough, I don't think it's particularly good. And the reason I say that is because if you're Shaheen, you don't really want to Vendillion Click Daryl anymore. You know, if Daryl dredges a loam, and then you say, okay, I'll Vendillion Click that. Well, Daryl has another loam in his graveyard. Yeah, so. you're just drawing him a card. Yeah, you're drawing him three cards, right? Because he'll just dredge again. Sure. So you're actually going to get him deeper into his deck and deeper and closer to the cards that we're mentioning that really matter right now, which are Punishing Fire, Tranquil Thicket, things of that nature. So it feels like to me you actually kind of want to stay away from that if you can. Shane will flash back Lingering Souls. He pushed three damage last turn. He will be able to push five on the next. Tranquil Thicket is That's one. That's big. Punishing Ooh, Fire, boy. two. Dark Depths is three. Now... Now things are getting interesting. Yep. Daryl's turns are about to get supercharged here. And for Daryl, he, you know, if, if I'm in his spot, and you can certainly tell this from his body language, never really panicked at this point. He's drawing three cards a turn virtually. So he's going to find what he's looking for, which was Punishing Fire and or Tranquil Thicket. He found them both in one dredge, and now he gets to really get to work. So one of the reasons Shaheen cares about this Caracas, just for the record, is that Merit Lage is one of the plays for Daryl, and the Caracas will take that one away, at least until Daryl gets a Wasteland. Yep. Cycle Tranquil Thicket. Dredge. A Wasteland. A Thespian Stage, a Mana Bond. And with that Mana Bond in play, remember, every land Daryl gets here, he'll get to put all of them into play at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. He gets to go absolutely nuts. See, when lands first hit the scene a long time ago, well, first of all, it had to play cards like Mulch. But that was just, it was really a deck that just wanted to dump a lot of lands in the graveyard. It played a lot of Psyching lands. It played Forgotten Cave and Tranquil Thicket. And it wanted to have turns like this, mostly, which was Cycle, Dredge, Cast Loam, Cycle, Dredge, Cast Loam, Build Up My Hand, Trigger Mana Bond, dump everything into play. That was really the goal of the deck. It certainly evolved, because now it's a 36 land, 24 spell deck. There we go. Four more lands into play on Daryl's end step. Now he has Dark Depths and Thespian Stage, has the, and a Wasteland. So he has the ability to waste the Caracas and then make a 20-20. Also threatening the ability to start going to work with Punishing Fire. Right. The danger there, so the, the scenario is that he can't actually make the 20-20. He doesn't really care about when he makes it. She has a fair number of answers. Caracas, the Jace minus one will take care of it. But you're right, so many lands in play, a Punishing Fire in the Graveyard, Sheen can just shoot down these spirits, and lands has never been about how does he win the game. The question, that you always have to think about how the land's opponent can win the game, and with all these Punishing Fires about to happen, Shaheen is going to run out of ways to win. Yep. A wasteland looks like it's going to be activated. Likely targeting Caracas. Yep. That'll clear the path for a Dark Depths token, we believe. Yeah, well, Shaheen, if... Yeah, Shaheen swung all the spirits instead of leaving one back here. Here's Snapcast dangerous. Image. Maze of Ith is gonna be activated a couple times here. While Daryl finishes up this combat, Josh Pellerine, who is playing Omnitel, up a game over Michael Dirksa, who is playing Death and Taxes. So number one overall seed. Life is pretty good when you're on the play. Another update here is 
and Jake Podolski with his reanimator deck able to tie things up against Dylan Don again in his Grits' Delver deck. So they're headed to a third game. That one is so play can be so play draw dependent. We've seen both games go toward the person going first. Punishing Fire is going to start going after Spirit Tokens. Yeah, you see no... Despite the fact that Daryl could make a 20-20, there is no rush here. He's simply just trying to build on his prison strategy, take away Shaheen's win conditions, kill the Spirit Tokens, kill enough creatures so that he's no longer taking damage, then burn down the Jace. See, his, for Daryl, this is him using his life total as a resource. His life total isn't low enough that he has to really panic. Wasteland will take care of Shaheen's lands. Yes, yeah, slowly but surely. Port will take care of the other lands. Yep, start bottlenecking those resources. It's just, yeah. For some reason, I loved this deck for, you know, like six months. I loved lands. It's, it's kind of addictive how you can close them off on every front. It's, it was, it's just so unique. If, you know, if you've been playing Magic, it's just kind of, you know, creatures and attacking and spells and stuff. And then you see this deck that I don't have any creatures or anything, really? My lands do all the stuff? And then everything is built around getting a bunch of lands into play? It, it's super cool. It's a very, very unique deck. Shane's going to play Dig Through Time. He's also going to take a look at Thespian Stage to make sure he knows how this works. Of course, it's a combo with Dark Depths, and it can do a little bit more than that, too. Just wants to check on that one. So he's done delving away the cards for Dig Through Time. Now he's going to actually resolve Dig Through Time, see if he can find some cards that he likes. Another Lingering Souls was in there. We'll help him replace the ones as Daryl not shoots them down. Maybe Shaheen can deploy one ones faster than Daryl can kill them. Daryl has not found Tabernacle yet, which is very important. So here's the thing. We're going to see how this game plays out, of course. But, you know, we've talked about Shaheen and his Telemann performance quite a bit, and if he would be able to get to five or seven mana. Well, this particular game is at seven mana right now. He would be able to do it this game. And it's not impossible, as Shaheen does have four basics. So it would require some combination of Daryl's porting and wastelanding, but remember that Daryl's start was not very quick here. Um, had that turn one exploration resolved, I don't think Shaheen would have ever gotten to this number. What's interesting, too, is that Shaheen is, not ha I mean, he's breezing through his deck with Dig Through Times and Jaces and all this stuff and Brainstorms. So he'll be able to find it, it appears, and Daryl's got to stop him from doing that. Now, as you mentioned, Daryl did not get off to a great start this game. He's catching up and he's actually doing a pretty nice job of it as he's starting to dredge loam and cast it multiple times a turn thanks to tranquil thicket and he's starting to fire away with the punishing fires i believe he'll be able to catch up during this game as he gets back another maze of it but he's got to be careful punishing fire is back yeah just one punishing fire in the graveyard right now Shoot down Vendillion Click. Get back Punishing Fire. Shoot down Snapcaster Mage. Pass the turn back. He's just getting the creatures with the highest power. You see now three Maze of Iths. That'll check three cards. Yep. Just two damage coming across. Council's Judgment was the draw. Shaheen's going to brainstorm again. Found a copy of Engineering Explosives. But at this point, Errors is not Loaming so much as he is just casting Punishing Fire, clearing up the board, then he'll go back to Loaming. Yeah, he did have the option to say Cycle Tranquil Thicket for additional Loams, but he's giving priority to Shaheen's creatures at the moment. Uh, also, when he's Loaming, you know, giving a low priority to Wasteland right now. You do have to be slightly concerned if you're Daryl just about deck size. It, it's not, I, I don't think, it's playing a role in things right now. But, you know, this deck does breeze through itself pretty quickly. You're doing a lot of dredging, a lot of Cycling Tranquil Thicket, more dredging. So you just want to be a little careful. Yeah, and we are 
you know, she's running out of resources. He's got Daryl to 10. There's Council's judgment. I suppose going after Yatch's mana bond. I, yeah. Better to have it off the table than on it, so. There's that. He could also, I mean, I still feel that the pressure's on Jaheim to just make more Lingering Souls here. It seems like the only card that's mattering. Tries to attack in. We saw this at the before. Daryl has three of the five creatures covered. We'll still take two. Oh, yeah, it looks like two damage will come across. We already saw, though, with the lands he has to, and the Punishing Fire, Daryl's able to kill two creatures a turn. So unless Shaheen makes more Lingering Souls or something else here, maybe goes for a counter spell, he will no longer be able to push damage. There's Lingering Souls. Gonna need a white mana for that. There we go. Two more spirits pass the turn back. Gara's gonna untap all those lands. He'll dredge. And see, it, it, it appears Daryl has you know, shifted his graveyard from non-relevant cards to relevant cards. The relevant cards being life from the lone punishing fire, dark depths, wasteland, stuff like that. Make things a little bit easier on himself. Remember, Daryl can only play one land a turn now. Does not have an exploration or a mana bond. Yep. Got to slow down a touch. Pick it up, Punishing Fire. Go back to shooting some creatures. Mm -hmm. There's one spirit. There's another spirit. He'll take two more, though, and drop to six. Just chip, chip, chip it away. There's a wasteland. Mesa should have been untapped by Daryl in his upkeep, so that is fixed now. Here comes Shaheen again. He'll Maze of Ith, Stoneforge Mystic Token, and Batter Skull. Two damage comes across, Daryl down to six. Can Shaheen make more Lingering Souls tokens? At least two more. If he can make four more this turn, that would be very relevant. Needs to brainstorm. He does have a third Lingering Souls. Can he brainstorm his way to it? Been given plenty of life thanks to these multiple activations of Grove of the Burn Willows. There's Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, I actually like Stoneforge Mystic. It's a creature and it's a shuffle. Yep. And he's looking for both right now. I think he may have grabbed the GTA out of his deck there. Flashback Lingering Souls. Two more Spirit Tokens. Shaheen still has a chance here. He does. He does. He'll discard Chitae and pass the turn back. No Lone Dredge from Daryl. Just draws a card. His draw, though, is Punishing Fire. Yeah, I think it's, it's so much more about Punishing Fire right now than it is Life Malone that he just wants to make sure that everything that he does involves Punishing Fire. So we'll start here. Activate, get it back. When you have this many Grove of the Burn Willows, having multiple Punishing Fires doesn't actually speed much up. Mm -hmm. Fire away. And keep at it. You see him not using Wasteland even. Cycle Tranquil Thicket. Yeah, just drawing off the top of his deck right now. Assuming that he's trying to hit something like an exploration again. Didn't get a great look at it. Doesn't appear to be particularly helpful. Probably just, you know, some land. Fire away. Shaheen gonna sacrifice. A polluted well, delta. His counter magic's not getting any better. Yeah. He may start countering some of these punishing fires. He's got Daryl low. He has a Snapcaster Mage. Oh my goodness. He can Snapcaster Mage counter. <laughs> yeah. Adds another creature to the board. Yep. And Shaheen very care was very careful to wait until the last punishing fire to do this so that Daryl could not punishing fire down the two one. 
But Shaheen untaps with seven creatures. There's four, three maids of it. This is four damage getting through. Take down the biggest ones. Four damage. Daryl's down to two. Shaheen might pull this out. That would be incredible. So is Daryl on the hunt for like the tabernacle now? Or is Glacial Chasm? We're gonna fate seal top card to the bottom. I think Shaheen might have a counter spell in his hand. I'm not. Here's a thought seize. Daryl has okay. some lands. Yep. Shaheen's got plenty of left to work with and mana just to check that out. Time for Daryl to untap everything. Draw a card. It's Thespian Stage. That, I don't believe that will do yep. it. Already had one of those. Stage of the land he'll play for the turn. He has three Punishing Fires worth of mana. Shaheen has a Force of Will in his hand that can counter something. Either a Punishing Fire, maybe a Life Alone, what have you. Well, there's seven creatures. Yeah, I mean, that Force of Will should do it. Because Daryl can kill three creatures. That leaves Shaheen... He can kill three and maze three, which would leave Shaheen with one. So Force of Will would leave Shaheen with two, and that would be two damage. Snapcaster Mage down. Shaheen not even considering picking a fight there. Return. Punishing Fire via Grove. Fire away again. Shaheen thinking about that Force of Will, but he doesn't have to move yet. Let's see what this is going to be. Yeah, well, the way Daryl has tapped, he can't return Punishing Fire and shoot it again, unless, unless one of those Destiny stages has been set to a color. It has mana. been. Okay. Yeah. She ain't gonna dig through time. Find another copy of Force of Will. Yeah, and Daryl's just gotta assume that Shaheen has a Force of Will, so maybe this first game goes over to Shaheen. There's Force of Will, countering Punishing Fire. Pass the turn back. Daryl's gonna threaten to make a 2020 here. There's a land, everybody. Yeah. He's going to get threatened to make the 2020. That's just as good as killing a creature. Yep. But that one can't be countered. So did Shaheen. No, I mean, he, oh, Daryl just loses. loses. Yeah. Th two tokens still get through. So he's fine. And Shaheen Saran is going right. to win get everyone here wow. over Daryl Errors. Esper Stoneblade is going to. Win game number one here over lands as the last two damages able to get through. Shaheen crafted a plan, saw it through. Yeah, and I wonder from Daryl's side, you, you feel like the trap slipped a bit there. Um, you know, maybe, maybe early on he's supposed to crop rotate for a tabernacle instead in anticipation of the lingering souls Shaheen hasn't cast. There's a lot of, it, it's difficult to say. So, I mean, the, the game just didn't really come together very well yeah. due to a mulligan to five, so. You know, he got his engine going. It just took a little while to get going, and then Lingering Souls somehow, some way, continues to get the job done <laughs> here this weekend, though no one else is playing it but Shaheen. So we're going to take a look at the sideboards here. Okay, well we have an interesting thing that has taken place here. So uh, we're going we're gonna to come back to the booth. 